It's the next day. We had quite a good night's sleep. We didn't, we haven't beaten jet lag. Usually we stay up till at least about half 11, 12 o'clock on the first night. Try to do that so we get up a bit later. But um, we went to bed about half nine, probably asleep by 10 last night, US time. Um, I was awake at 20 past four. I think Sarah was awake at about 20 past five. Sarah didn't feel too good to be honest with you, so I thought it was best just we, we sort of chilled out. But um, no, I was up at the crack of dawn this morning, so hopefully we can stretch out today and have a bit more of a late night tonight and try to beat the jet lag and get on American time. So our plan is now we're going to um, maybe go and have some breakfast somewhere, um, pop over to um, Green Vessel and have a bit of a butcher's round there. The room, I'll do a room tour at some stage. Endless Summer does have a reputation for being noisy um, and eat. To be honest with you, it probably is. We could hear next door this morning as if they're in the, in the room with us, toilets flushing. Up to now it's not a problem because they're not, we haven't got kids in there as young kids, they seem to be adults. So up to now it's not an issue, but uh, the, the room's clean, so I'll do a room tour, but we're just off to Universal now. So let's see what we've got to run. I like that plaque. I think we shall be. We we shall be shopping later. Is that what we've um, upgraded our luggage allowance for? Yeah, just buy that big plaque. Yeah, just buy that big plaque. Thank you. So this is where you get your resort shuttles, just at the side of the hotel. We're here! How long have we been waiting to come here, Sarah? Five years. Well, the last time was 2017, but we booked 2019, wants it to come? Yeah, it is five years. Never been so glad to see an escalator. They still haven't put that sign up, but I don't think the archers has, I've heard a lot on some of the blogs, yeah. Some of the blogs are saying that it's uh, causing a bottleneck. Oh, it's so good to be back. Excited, Sarah? Yeah. Yeah? Harry Potter in a record. Definitely need to go to Margaritaville. That's what we can see by the room. Then you said you've never noticed it, the Arms Adventure Lighthouse. And that's what we saw at the room and you said, what's that flashing? The nice thing is about this trip, staying on site Universal, which is something that we've never done before, is we don't seem to be in a rush. Usually we're, the maximum we've stayed at Universal is four days, which was last year at Hard Rock and we always have gone around Universal in a rush. We've got two weeks and it's going to be so nice just actually standing still and looking up and not feeling rushed and looking at all the, the buildings and the detail that Universal have, have done in the parks. Well, I just made a right prat of myself nearly then. It's usually Sarah that gets emotional when she sees the Disney castle. I've just walked in, spotted that, and had to take quite a few deep breaths. Felt quite emotional, which is not like me. Been, I say, been a long time coming, but God, it's so good to be back. But that, right there, that view, is what Sarah and I have been waiting for. Love it, so happy to be back. Although I do hate Seuss Landing. 
and I'm contemplating going on the Hulk. <laughs> I think the green says it all. We may have made an error, we've looked and it's early park admission but nothing's open and it's time to... eight till seven. So we may, we may have made a bit of an error, first error. So we're just going to have a mooch around. Yeah. Yeah, we've just actually looked into it. It was a bit of a rookie mistake. This part of the park opens. Alan's Adventure opens at eight o'clock, but the rides and things don't open till nine o'clock. So we're not bothered. We're just going to have a mooch about and have something to eat. Yeah, maybe a bit. Um, I shouldn't maybe say it, but I. I do not like Zeus landing. It looks like Elton John's puked up on the park, if you ask me. Samuel and Amy used to love reading the Dr. Zeus books. In fact, I think they still may even have them in the room somewhere. If you're going to get a kid interested in reading, must admit, Dr. Zeus. Can anyone tell me who these vloggers are? I haven't got a clue. Han, yeah, Han Buchan. Um, but no. Always on the lookout for new channels to watch. Yeah, we have decided, I don't, I'm not into merch, but we are definitely getting this t-shirt. I am wearing that one. I'm wearing that one. And Sarah can get this one. Yeah, I think if the only bit of universal merch I get, it'll be that. Yeah, love that. Yeah, it's gonna have a look. Definitely gonna go and have a look in there. Oh, there's so much we wanna see. It's gonna check out the queue for Hagrid's. Five minutes at the minute. 105 minutes for Hagrid's. So we're here for two weeks, we'll definitely get on it. It's gonna have a nose in here. Might be a bit dark. So the camera might not pick things up very well. I do love these, I've seen these on a few vlogs. They're fantastic. Didn't I quite like that? I, I won't... I, no, I said I didn't like it. Because it looked like the print on it was real shiny. Well, I quite like that. You know when I said I'm not big on buying merch, I think things might have changed. Oh! $75. Oh really? I, yeah, no, I'm going to get an Harley Davidson one for that. This the plaque there, Sarah, that we said about getting. Thirty-seven. That'd have to go inside because we won't be able to have that on the outside bars, and it won't go in the potter bar. It, to be honest, it would go in the potter bar. And then they do the. Are these? Oh, they're just. Yeah. No, oh, no, it's like a, I don't know if it's like a thin tin. Morning. This is tea, kids. These are something else that we're considering getting. Yeah, I like that one. I quite like that one, actually. 
I apologise now if the camera's not picking up a great deal because I don't think this is brilliant in some of this hour works real good. I don't think this camera's brilliant in dark light. Dark light. Darkness. Theming in here is fantastic. I can even hear the creaking. <laughs> See the leggings? You think they suit me though? <laughs> no, I'm not sure if they'll suit you. See these sunglasses, Sarah, these shades look fantastic. Oh, coasters. Dead thirsty. That oh, witch's nice. brew would be yeah, really good though. for the bar. $45 though. Like them. Oh yeah, they're brilliant. You may hear the word brilliant as well quite a lot this holiday. I think you've got more than enough jewellery for what I used to sell. Right up until us arriving, I think Saturday they were still having that major um, storm, tropical storm, but and it's been pretty bad weather I think for the uh, the last few weeks. But it's absolutely gorgeous today. Absolutely gorgeous. We're still on the hunt for something to eat. Because we're rather hungry. First ride of the holiday. Can you guess what it is? Just like We've just ridden that. First ride, what did you think? It was really good and I forgot how good it was. Yeah, totally. It was a walk on, which was fantastic. But it was a bit more jerking than I remember. It must be my age. But uh, went on that and then it went. Squealed like a little girl. Squealed like a piggy. <laughs> and then we went on um, Flight of the Hippogriff. Just got married, that's real Hippogriff. Hippogriff, Flight of the Hippogriff. Yeah, that was, a, that was really jerky, but brilliant fun. They've just got married, all in the Harry Potter robes. This is my first view of Velocicoaster. I'm still not convinced and now I'm actually here looking at it, I'm even less convinced I'm going to go on it. Because it's like, uh, that bit there you seem to be upside down for quite some time. It's impressive. Most impressive. Yeah, should go on it. Yeah, quite possibly. Yeah, no, we'll see. See how many cocktails they have later on. Yeah, I think, I think that's a definite no. All the years that we've been coming here, it's the first time I've actually seen green eggs and ham open. Yeah. I think we're going to probably head for City Walk just to have something to eat because. 
So this is our first day, so it's just basically a bit of a, a nosy round. But um, we usually make a mistake of, we, we rush around and try to, we'll see a ride. And oh, the, the queue's not too long, we'll, we'll get on the ride and not eat and not drink. Obviously, just being at Universal for two weeks, we are going to do it a lot more leisurely. But we, we do need to have a, definitely do need to have a drink because it's uh, probably on about 10 o'clock and it's quite, quite hot. Hiya. Hi. It's my blue beard makes people smile. Do you realise that? The amount of comments I've had. Yeah. I think, Sarah, I think we should just go and get something to eat and definitely a drink. So we're on a rad ban till we've eaten. Do you agree? Yeah. We have a decision, people. So let's see where we end up. Just had to quickly show you this because the porch of indecision. Basically, this tip of Faz, me and Sarah. But what we've decided we're going to do is we're adding a bit more to the garden porch where the kitchen window is. I don't know if I'm doing like a pull out canopy or a wooden canopy to match the rest of the gazebo area but that is going to be called the porch of indecision from now on after seeing that you saw it here it's 10 o'clock in the morning staying hydrated first beer of the day although i am going to drink plenty of water but look at that view absolutely Absolutely fantastic, as the great Gary Barlow once said. Just sat smelling garlic butter, having a beer, and looking out on this. Most of the eateries don't open till 11 o'clock, so we're going to have a wander up to City Walk, um, have something to eat just to keep us going until um, we go to um, Cowfish. We've got a reservation at Cowfish this evening at 7 o'clock. So we'll take you along with that. But um, yeah, gonna have a beer, just sit down because it is really hot, and then um, something sweet. We've decided where we're gonna eat. We're eating breakfast at Red Oven Pizza. I've got the Italian meat feast, and Sarah's got the mushroom, which we'll show you later on. Um, thankfully, we can pay cash and not do mobile ordering. Um, we're having problems linking our ticket, that ticket, to the app. So we're gonna have to go to customer services. Place better. We're gonna have to go to customer services to see if they can help us out with that. Of course, Sarah and myself are having an issue with it. So, but, um, pizza for breakfast. We must be an oldie. I'm a second blue moon. Stay hydrated. You've got a Coke, haven't you, Sarah? Yeah. Sarah's, been a good girl. yeah Sarah's been a good girl. But she did drink very heavily on the plane, didn't you, Sarah? Yeah. Yes. So I think it's a good girl slash hangover. But um, pizza for breakfast. <laughs> I've just said to Sarah, I've ordered an, uh, this is my second blue moon. Um, the first one was at one of the kiosks on the front. But for some reason, blue moon in the States tastes a hell of a lot better than the UK. The only thing I've noticed, I don't know if it's just in universe, but they don't put orange in it here. But um, a lot of stuff tastes better in America, apart from the bacon. And I don't like American bacon, do you? It's streaky. It's got, it's a, about as meaty as Patsy Kensit in a hair day. The cheese is often plasticky. Yeah. Apart from that, everything else is wonderful. Ice cream. Oh, yeah right next to Cold Storm Creamery. So I think that'll be afters. And breakfast has arrived. That looks really nice. That's a mushroom. And that's the Italian meat feast. That's really nice. Is it? I love American breakfasts. This is one place that we've, we've seen online and we plan on, hopefully, might even do it tonight, but um, the cocktails are all Halloween themed and they've, um, the red hot coconut, but they've done, what is it? Oh, dead, co what did it, red, red coconut club, dead coconut club. 
<laughs> we're, we're both correct. But um, no, they've, they've done it all Halloween themed with Halloween drinks and it sounds right up our street. I must admit, I do like this artwork. I've seen it on a few vlogs, but it's uh, the, the Tiki Frankenstein and Monster from the Lagoon and, and the Dracula. We have got, as I said earlier, we've got a table booked for cowfish at seven o'clock. So I think this will be our, I think this will probably be after cowfish. We've got two t we've got two reservations. We've got one for tonight, and then I think one later on in the week, because there's there's quite a lot on this menu that I certainly want to try. I don't know whether to offer burger or sushi, so you can go both ways and have a bento box with a burger and sushi. Yeah, I think Look. we said about bento box, didn't we? Yeah. Mini burger and four pieces of sushi. If you look at some of our earlier uh, Universal vlogs and Disney vlogs. Um, we did visit here before and um, I had a Bloody Mary, it was fantastic. He had a garnish which was basically a beef burger on a stick in the Bloody Mary and the straw was a hollowed out pepperoni sausage. That was amazing, so I'm hoping to do those. Yeah, we've just seen Bend the Bower, the Bower Bun Place. Um, I've not seen anyone mention this place on vlogs. I might be mistaken if they have done, which I apologise. But um, I've never seen, well, I haven't seen any reviews or anything of anyone eating here. So we're probably going to um, probably going to give this place a try because we are rather partial. But uh, it does look quite nice. And there's your menu. Yeah, that's not that's not bad prices, nine dollars. I don't know, it looks a decent size. We shall try it. To be honest, I've only come here for the merchandise, but Sarah rather fancies a donut. That is the idea that I'm planning on doing in the Harry Potter bar. But every time I've gone on eBay, these eyeballs have been sold out. This is the eyeballs, Sarah, in the jar, what I was gonna do. Pickled eyeballs. Yeah. I like this one. That is really cute. I don't like the theming in here. And this is what Sarah's bought from Voodoo Donuts, a Diablo Rex. Yeah, should be a pentagram on Should there. be, but it's been... But it's squished. It's a bit squished. Should taste nice enough. Been waiting ages for one of those, haven't you? Yeah. Things to do. As a diabetic, I'm in hell 
but somebody that loves sweets. I'm on holiday and I'm not a diabetic for two weeks. Oh, I remember then at Bridlington and small jazzies. And I've lost the wife. There she is. What are you shopping for? Well, we've got pound stretcher ones. What do we want proper ones for? Yeah, Just write universal in on the back in Barrow. Yeah, do you know I've gone off the yard here. Would you wear it in a pub? Would you wear it back home, going in a pub? Um, no, not really. No, so it'll be in the cupboard like all the other Universal mates that we've got. Lavender, I'd have said. Across that is lavender and then um, palm of violets. See, I'd like to get at least one of these for the bar. we are gonna have to really pack it well. I like that one. Oh, I like that one better. You like that one? No, I think that one's better. Well, we're gonna have to get two then, aren't we? Nice to see your mother's still got work. Yeah. Exactly, busiest time of the year. So cool. The detail on that. That I've seen is actually supposedly haunted. I've seen on I don't know, it's Grim Life's collective or somewhere. Which is that? Oh like that, how much is that? $22. That'll be good for the bar. Is it 10? Yes, it's yeah. It's real thin, too. Yeah, we'll be under undercover in the bar outside. Quite like these as well, the the Frankenstein book bag. Yeah, they have the Dracula one, the other shot. It's red. I like that. We've seen the Hogwarts one of these which we think we're going to get. They're quite solid. The Hogwarts one's a bit bigger, but these are the houses. Yeah, they're quite solid. All the books. Quite the covers I like, are I like them ones. Yeah. The pictures in them are real icy on the picture. I know they just uh, thrown in. Such a shame. It is the animation's really good. No, these are gold. I mean on the cover. No. Oh yeah. I 
Am I missing something? Is she an actual character? Spider Gwen? I've never heard of her. Is she in a film? Comments below. Or is he just actually in a comic? These are $52, but we've just seen this for $495. That looked brilliant in the bar, but I don't think we'll get it home. It's quite a decent size as well, and I like the hog's head. Decanter. $95 Can always dream, can't you? Now we're going to head back now, I think Spend a bit of time by the pool before our reservation at Cowfish. The gang are out. Some of these buildings are lovely, aren't they? The way they've done them. Yeah. I'm so looking forward for Horror Nights. We've just bumped into um, Aussie Rob, an English gent. And they did Horror Nights last night. And they did the VIP tour. Um, it sounds amazing. They said it was really busy though, so we're hoping We've got two nights, we don't know whether to upgrade and do the um, frequent scare pass. They said we're allowed to do it, we can do it, we can swap our two day passes over. Um, but we're gonna see how much it costs, and we, we may do it, because we don't want to sort of rush around and, and just get stressed out trying to fit everything in. So we're gonna see how much it is to do the frequent scare pass. But, uh, Oh, we've got uh, yeah, all the characters are out. We've got Lisa and Marge. And then we've got Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice or, what is it? Beetlejuice or Beetle Goose? I don't know. Well, it's juice, but it's the proper spelling isn't juice. He does have a look at your dad when he had that drink problem. Thanks. Yeah. Same complexion. <laughs> right then, missus, what do you think? Should we go back and chill for a bit? Pull time? Yeah, we'll do a little short circuit. Right? Short circuit and then pull time. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do a Riprad rocket. There's a height restriction of six foot seven. I am six foot three, six foot four, and my shoes I wear like platform shoes. So I'm nudging up to that six foot seven. Also, I think the maximum weight is um, waist size is 45 inches. Now, I am a generous 38 slash 40 inches my belt bottle i've got a big skull belt bottle which brings my waist to approximately 45 inches and it's quite a thick leather on the belt so although i'd like to say i'm going to do this i'm unable to and it's a one rad that i really wanted to do the next thing i'm looking at is a hulk for their restrictions 
but I'm honestly gutted I can't do that. Somebody I've been wanting to see, and that's little Boo. But I can't find him. I haven't got a clue where little Boo is. I'm sure somebody will point him out to me later on. We've just had cocktails at the sandbar. We had the werewolf, which was Jack Daniels. No, it was a wolfman. A oh, wolfman, which was Jack Daniels. Um, blue brandy, which was, was it blueberry brandy? It was a whiskey, a brandy, and orange juice and something else yeah very nice now what we're doing we're off to maybe have a drink at the dead, dead coconut, coconut club. club and then we've got a reservation at seven o'clock at cowfish and then we're going to hit city walk so come with us Yeah, we might have the Harry Potter bus. Do, 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 do. Is that your biggest fan? Yeah. <laughs> she loves me, really. Right, tonight we're eating at Cowfish, and this is a starter. It's a. Uh, it's all over the table. <laughs> it's um, a sesame seed chicken. It's quite nice, isn't it? Real spicy. So that's our starter. I was that eager to start. I started. That's a firecracker sushi. And Sarah got. Bento box. Bento box. Um, is that vegetarian the sushi? Yeah, the sushi is. And then um, a small burger. Is it alright? Is it nice? That is gorgeous. That is really good. I'm so looking forward to having the. Uh, the cow has left the building, Bloody Mary, which I had in 2017 and I've been, what, five years, four years waiting to have that again. So that's the next thing, but that is delicious. Here comes my baby, that is fantastic, thank you. This is what I have been waiting for since 2017, the meaty straw. The burger, the that sort of thing that spoils it, yeah. A bit of bacon. A bit of bacon. Jerky. Chili. This changed my life in 2017. <laughs> and he's going to do it again. Never again. I wasn't, no. <laughs> so happy. It's sad. I'm feeling emotional. Cowfish done, and now we're going to the Dead Coconut Club to try some of these cocktails. I honestly don't know how much this camera's going to pick up of uh, darkness, but oh, that's balls out then, isn't it? Ah, oh, right. Thank you. Ah, so that's only open Halloween Horror Nights. Was that right, Sarah? Only open Halloween Horror Nights? Yeah. So, obviously, that's where we're going Horror Nights. So, where are we thinking now, Sarah? Pat O'Brien's. Ah. Ah. Oh, that bloody Mary. Yeah, Sarah's just said private event and the weekend's actually universal tonight. So I reckon he's there. Quite frank. Yeah, it's not a week. Yeah, it's not a weekend. <laughs> it's, it's Monday. Yeah, we're now 
now in Pat O'Brien's. We're drinking the Pat O'Brien's Hurricane with cherries, which is fruit, which is healthy. Never been in here, but love it. What did you think of cowfish? It's not as good as last time we went. No, it was. Um, the service was a bit slow. I think she'd forgotten about the seatiness, so yeah. let's chase that up. Yeah, the thing is with us, um, obviously, being from the UK, we haven't got a uh, cell phone, uh, mobile and they wanted to text us when the table's ready. We said we didn't have a cell phone, so she um, said, stand around the corner, I'll call you. And loads of people going in before us, and she never called us. She'd forgotten about us. But the food was really good. Um, I really enjoyed mine, you enjoyed your food. The start was good. Yeah, the start was delicious. I would really, I would pay 20 dollars normally for food. No, for the bento box. Um, one worth it, so one worth it. No, I, I so enjoy... Like the two of us, we've got like that one starter, um, two beers, the main course each, and you had a cocktail, and it was like $108. So it wasn't cheap. Including tip. Including tip. Yeah. It wasn't cheap, but... I enjoyed, I enjoyed my firecracker. Um, I obviously enjoyed the uh, Bloody Mary. I didn't like the way we were seated. Uh, we'd reserved a table like about a month ago, and where we were sat it was literally a table in between the toilets and the bar, which it wasn't great. It was everybody coming out the toilet, and then it was just like a meshing in front of us. Um, so that one's so good. We have decided we have got another tip, uh, another re reservation for later on in the week. We're going to cancel that and try somewhere else. To be honest with you, it has gone. It, was, it seemed a little bit grotty as well. It's just. I mean, I don't want to put anyone off. But it's gone downhill a little bit since we last went. If you haven't been there before, try it. The food is really nice, and um, I'd stay away from the bento box, the vegetarian one, apart from burger. It's in the middle of it. So it's vegetarian, but with a beef burger in the middle of it. But that was, yeah, that, that was Sarah's choice. But let um, I me mean, give it a try if you've never been before. But we've been before, and that, 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 we're not going to rush back. Food was all right, but it's like sitting in a canteen outside the toilet. So she's off me, but she totally agrees. <laughs> I think I'm going to wrap today's vlog up, our first full day. It's uh, we haven't done bad considering we were awake early hours of the morning. Um, we've had a real good day, we've, we've bumped into and met um, Aussie Rob and English Jen. Two really nice people, if, if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe. Uh, real fun, informative. I'll put a link in the description below to their channel. But um, no, I've had a really good day, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. Nice food. It's been, it's been, it's been full on, but not as full on as we usually do for our first day at a park. But um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please hit that notification bell and then um, continue watching us for the rest of this Florida vlog series because I'm sure it's going to be interesting. Thanks again for watching. Bye.